So we will start from the book The Saints of Bengal from page 187. So Baba Mahashaya is um, visited by many sadhus and Vaishnavas and they are asking questions and one old man asked him, Baba, what is the easiest way of attaining Radha Govinda? So Babaji is answering, for the Jivas of Kali, there is no way except the Kripa of Radha Govinda. So again, Babaji is answering, the Jivas of Kali, there is no way for them except the Kripa of Radha Govinda. The old man, but what means can we attain, uh, by what means can we attain Kripa? Babaji is answering, the only means for attaining Kripa is Kripa itself. Krishna is eternally, uh, sorry, Krishna is eternally dominated and controlled by Kripa. Again, Krishna is eternally dominated and controlled by Kripa. So he, here for this point, I wanted to give some, some little hint how we can understand that Krishna is controlled by Kripa. Who is Kripa? Who is really the original source of Kripa? Radha. Yes, that's it. <laughs> So Radharani is controlling the one who is controlling everything. So Krishna is controlled eternally by Kripa. We can understand that when he is writing his name on the feet of Radharani. We all heard about this. It's a very nice description how he is writing his name on Radha's lotus feet. And then he says, oh, my name is so fortunate. My name can always stay at this lotus feet. First, first word is that how we can get Kripa, that one. So, Baba, what is uh, Baba? What is Kripa? Kripa comes from Kripa. Read that, that word to read again. Yes. First. So, by what, by what means can we attain Kripa? 
Uh, Babaji answers, the only means for attaining Kripa is Kripa. Ah, so that means only through Radha we can attain Kripa. Because even Krishna is always searching for this Kripa. Right, Gurudev? And this by, yeah, by this Kripa, we can understand everything by her <laughs> So Krishna is eternally dominated and controlled and controlled by yeah. Kripa. Kripa. Eternally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what to speak of us? This is the beauty. He does whatever Kripa makes him to do. Wow. Yeah. He does whatever Kripa makes him do. He goes and blesses the wow. Jiva. This is a very <laughs> interesting connection, Gurudev. He does whatever Kripa makes him do. And now the next sentence is, he goes and blesses the Jiva to whom Kripa takes him. Yeah. Yeah. So we could, we could understand that he is actually sent by Radharani to give Kripa to the Jivas. Wow. Like a mother is telling to the husband, go and get the children, it's getting cold. It's getting dark. The Kali Yuga is beginning. Go and get them all. Yeah. He does whatever Kripa makes him do. He goes and blesses the Jiva to whom Kripa takes him. So Kripa is even showing the way. That means, that means that Radharani is even showing the way to whom Krishna should give Kripa. Like you always say, Gurudev, when Radharani is saying, here's a nice Dasi, then he has to accept, qualified or not. This is Kripa that uh, Anangmaji is a nice dasi for us and her Kripa she accepts us. She's all Kripa. Yes. Actually, because you're talking about Ananga Manjari, um, I, I, I wanted to, to uh, just say if somebody doesn't know this story, Sri Radha Raman Charandas Deva, actually who he is. When he left his body, 
It's actually still in Vrindavan, you can read it. In the temple who he was serving, Radha Vinod, there is written that uh, Ananga Mandri is serving here. And this was actually him. It is said that he was the incarnation of Nitai. It's a very interesting story. Everybody should read that. It's such such a wonderful, really wonderful story. <laughs> He is like a doll pulled by a string. We are talking here about our blue boy. Kripa is taking him and he is like a doll pulled by a string. Without for a moment, without for a moment, judging him by his caste or creed, learning or ignorance. Without judging him by his caste or creed, learning or ignorance. Virtue or wise and bhajan or anything else. So no consideration. Not at all. <clears throat> now Babaji is giving a nice example how it's proved that this is in uh, how it's called übereinstimmung. Agreement. Agreement with the Shastras. So he's giving the example. Putana wanted to kill him. Putana wanted to kill Krishna by making him suck her breast. And his breasts were smeared with poison. So even though she wanted to kill Krishna, yet Kripa impelled him to bless her in a manner <coughs> in which he would bless his foster mother. So, who impelled him? Kripa. Kripa impelled him to bless her, Putana, in a manner in which he would bless his foster mother. So he accepted her as a mother. <laughs> Although she wanted to kill him. So the old man is asking, if Kripa is causeless and indiscriminate, it should flow towards the virtuous and the virtuous alike. <coughs> Krishna should be as merciful towards all demoniac women as he was towards Bhutana. Babaji is answering. 
True, but one should at least have a longing or loba, greed, for Kripa. So it's true, Kripa is there always for everyone, but one should at least have a longing or loba greed for Kripa. <laughs> <laughs> longing is only requirement. Greed and longing. Back or Kripa. Longing <coughs> and greed. Same word. For Kripa. For Adhika, Kripa Moe, Back, Borrow or Steal. So it's always there. We just have to yeah. be greedy. <laughs> so Babaji is given an uh, given an example. A physician wants to give medicine. To a patient out of mercy. But if he knows that the patient does not feel any need, if he does not feel any need for it, and it is likely to throw it, uh, he is likely to throw it away, will he give it? Though Putana did not have any longing for Krishna Kripa, she had intensely longed for his death. So although Putana did not have any longing for Krishna Kripa, she had intensely longed for his death. Longing for Krishna, even if it be in adverse from automatically attracts his Kripa. Ah, even it is in an adverse form, automatically it attracts Kripa. I would like to say something, if you allow me, Gurudev. Yeah, yeah. Because, <clears throat> I'm sorry. It said here that main qualification of Putana was actually her feelings. Although these feelings are not favorable to Krishna. For her, his welfare. Still, she had the feelings because she strongly desired to kill him. And this is not the bhakti. 
but it shows how Krishna can guide it by his kripa can transform even such evil feelings for some benefit of the person. <coughs> And actually, this is this kind of kripa is action of love, which doesn't discriminate which kind of feelings in general way. Because we can see here the strong feelings of angerness, desire to kill someone, are also feelings. But in touch with Krishna, these feelings can be converted in the positive aspect. <coughs> And this is su superiority of Kripa Shakti. I wanted to say something, just this. Not without the mahat ones, because... Yes, mm. It doesn't discriminate between feelings Yes, but it also doesn't discriminate between jiva. It's equally available to all souls, Kripa. And in this connection, Radharani doesn't discriminate any form of interest in Krishna because she's so much involved with Krishna, she sees Krishna everywhere, inside, outside, because she's Krishna Mai. Because of that, she doesn't discriminate, she cannot discriminate. If why somebody has interest in Krishna, she doesn't matter. The point is that somebody is interested, however, And she's so much in ecstasy that she will give all her mercy to such a person if he's just somehow or other interested in Krishna. And the same we hear also about <coughs> Krishna when you when you utter the name Radha, even the first syllable. He will run after you and he will think, what can I give him? He's such a great soul. How can I help? Rade, because <coughs> Prema makes Krishna to dance. Prema makes Jiva to dance and Prema dance itself. Wow. Ananta Das Babaji said, And this is the way how Krishna is dancing, like her disciple. Radikera Prema Guru. Ami Shishya Nata. And because he is Shishya, he is giving the Prema to whomever his beloved Radhika wants to give. 
He is dancing. Radhe. So the old man is saying, I follow that one should have lobha or intense longing for Kripa in order to attain Kripa. But how to get lobha? <coughs> Babaji is answering. Man is by nature lobby, greedy. He is unhappy because he has, out of ignorance, made the things of this world the object of his loba. He is unhappy because he has, out of ignorance, made the things of this world the object of his loba. So he has only to divert his loba towards Krishna and his Kripa. It's so amazing that in these words Babaji is telling he has only to divert his loba towards Krishna and his Kripa. Who is his Kripa again? Jai Shri Radhe. The old man is saying, but this, isn't it difficult, if it, uh, isn't it a difficult thing to do? Because the worldly objects are within our reach. <coughs> We see them and we feel attracted, but we do not feel so attracted by Krishna. And it is difficult to develop loba for a thing which does not attract. Somebody wants to bring this to a point again? Brother, if I say something, because I just remember how Rupa Goswami gave one prayer from his Sadaka wish and he said, I want to be greedy like a rich man who is greedy for the money. So we can see, he didn't say ordinary man is greedy for the money. This is one kind of greediness. But when rich man has a greediness for the money, it's much more stronger greediness. So Rupa Goswami is giving this ordinary example, worldly example, to make expressions how much greediness 
to back borrow steel is important. Maybe I have some wealth, but I want more wealth. I'm greedy to be more rich. Tade. Gauravani, can you please repeat the point that you were reading? Yes. So the old man is making the point. It's easy to be greedy for things we can see, touch, smell, and so on. But it's not with Krishna like that. So we may not understand him and we cannot see him or like that. So how we can be greedy for him. It's not so easy. How we can have loba for things who does not attract us? So the answer is in next paragraph. Yes, the answer will come now. Babaji is telling attraction for Krishna and his Kripa can be developed if one has the grace of a Maha Purusha who has himself been blessed by Krishna Kripa. So what he is saying here, he is saying a Mahapurusha who has been blessed by Radharani. <laughs> Rasika Vaishnava. Yes. <laughs> So if we get the grace of a Mahapurusha, a Rasika Vaishnava, then we can develop more greed. <coughs> there is one thing Maybe you can explain to us a little bit deeper because it said who himself been blessed by Krishna Kripa. So does it mean that he was who knows when but once upon a time he was ordinary jiva which got a Kripa, who knows when, and now he feels such a strong compassion to the conditioned souls, because he, he has this experience, and his heart is melting to give condition souls this Kripa. Can you elaborate a little bit? This is the soul and the light of our That is Krishna Kripa. Because this art will be like this is my truth. When I realize my <coughs> constitutional reason, then I go to constitutional But we have to build my soul to move on. 
you have fixed in my sense, but he, yeah. he go. So we, we are attracted, we are ready for material things. But when, the moment we had identified myself, then I greedy for this. Then it is, this is Krishna Kripa that my mind can fix in the soul consciousness. Could you speak louder? It was the second translation. And make an eye way. Open up. Yeah. So, so uh, the Krishna Kirpa to know my reality. Manik is greedy because of other other identification is in the mind. So they become greedy for that. The moment we come to the soul consciousness, we are greedy from our constitutional position and for my Easter. That is Krishna Kripa. <laughs> You open the door, key to enter. But I feel. Guru Dev, do we always have first material greed and it because becomes spiritual greed? No, material greed is there because I'm in that consciousness. Conscious, I am conscious with that. Other thing, I have no conscious. I don't know. I don't know about my soul. Running, running, running for that. Where I am, I am running for that. No. We start there and then we discover spiritual greed. Naturally, spiritual can bring you to spiritual way. Mm. Can I have something? So, yeah. If we are running, mm. or rather running, but we have to first run the Guru Mandra, you know, to catch her. When we come to, come to come to my constitutional position by soul, mm. then more and more great growing, madness coming. We are not interested in divine, then we want to go anyway. So we run always to her to see the honey wine. Mm -hmm. It's divine is this, that I know my soul, mm -hmm. but I am not satisfied now. When I was taking wine because of my body consciousness, when I see the divine, it means I am in soul consciousness. It's not enough. It's not enough to me. That is the greed to see the honey wine. From here, the way changed. Inner way start. Somebody has to show the honey wine, no? Yeah. And uh, by the grace of Mahajan, he is navigating us. And he show one flash. And he said, this is honey wine. <laughs> so that way, we need our constitutional position to move, this is great, this is great. Every day surprising happening, and then we want to follow that. This is Ahetaki, Kripa of Mahajans. Process. Process. 
that is the work of navigator Mahajan. I say navigator. This is every day is a pride. They say Gurudev that astonishment, chamatkar, and prema and rasa go together. Mm. And that is Kripa. <laughs> Eh? Chamatkar. Astonishment. Eh? Astonishment, surprise. Astonishment. And Prema goes together. That is surprise. Kripa. Kripa, again Kripa. Mm. What you say? Unconditional mercy. What do you say? Causeless, eh? Causeless mercy. Kripa. Kripa gives Kripa. <coughs> wow. <coughs> Is okay? <coughs> yeah. Yeah, that's good. Thank you. So nature of the material conscious condition soul is also greedy. He is a greedy, but his consciousness is there, he greedy for that. Mm -hmm. So again, to get Kripa, we need to have the grace of a Mahapurusha who has himself been blessed by Krishna Kripa. You see? What is this blessing? He is fixed. <coughs> Is, is not marginal nature, it's fixed. How much is fixing and how is tribe, how is there? He is fixed. And then he grows in the form of Mahajan. How wise bhajan kriya he can fix it. So to say it in a simple way, if one is millionaire in Kripa, he can give yeah. Kripa. Yes, that is the <laughs> He has to be millennial. Millennial means a type of. In even the soul of type of can be a millennial. But Mahajan has to be that he's not make impersonal, he has to make personal relation. If not, then is a mayabad. Right? Yes. He will live in soul, soul consciousness. If his mahajan is not in his as he not go to the association of Melinia, Mahajan, he will not do that. He think I realize now my life is done. 
surprise cannot come. What you say, surprise, prema will not come. Uh, if I'm allowed, I, I, I want to give a simple example of that also. If we are playing ping pong, we have to look, the ball is going there and back, there and back. So we always move. It's like you are going with a car through the nature. It's always moving. Mm -hmm. You're not seeing one tree, really. You have to stop the car, fix the tree. Then you will see the details. Okay. If there are some, some bugs on the tree or something like this. So you have to fix on Radharani and stop playing ping pong. <laughs> yeah. Bravo. Bravo. It's just your words. I just definite a little bit in my own words, but it's just what I learned from you. The company of such a person by itself generates attraction for Krishna. This is proved by the company of Gurudev. When you are just there sitting with him, then the attraction for Radharani starts, right? Yeah. We all have this experience. Jai Ho! So the old man is saying, so it means that Kripa of a Mahapurusha who has realized Krishna is the chief means for the attainment of Krishna Kripa. Babaji says, yes. Chaitanya Charit Amrita says that without Mahat Kripa, the Kripa of the Great Ones, nothing is possible. Krishna Kripa is a far cry. It's like you hear something from a distance. Even freedom from bondage is not possible. This is a statement of Chaitanya Charit Amrita 2.22.32. So without Mahat Kripa, nothing is possible. So this was the speech between these two persons. And now another thing will start because this speech was spread to other Mahatmas. One of them was a little bit disturbed because he thought, how it can be that Kripa is more important than your sadhana? So this Radharaman Charandas Deva is telling Kripa is more important than sadhana? I have to go there and I have to speak with him. So Sripat Ragud Ananda Goswami is the one who comes to Sri Radha Raman Charandas Deva. And he is a little bit angry and is telling him, why you are telling the people that Kripa is the main thing and not Sadhana? Mm -hmm. So when he said this, 
Baba Mahashaya made obeisances to him and gave him an asana to sit. <coughs> After Sripad has cooled down a little, he said with folded hands, if you kindly permit, I may say something in this connection. Sripad, the one who came, he says, yes, I would like to listen. Radhe? Jai Radhe. It's very nice instruction here is described how to deal in difficult situation which pro provokes some conflict <coughs> and we can see how this Goswami was very angry <laughs> he was very angry but Babaji Mahashai Angry not very heavy Very <laughs> heavy Very heavy <laughs> Yes And Mahashai Baba has perfect He was perfectly dealing with such kind of character <laughs> He first cooled down him giving him to sit and then humbly very humbly he offered his obeisances and said if you kindly permit me <laughs> this is the art of communication in conflict situation <laughs> this is the way of Vaishnava talk yes etiquette Now before talking, they offer water of right, for other mouth, yes. and then they talk. This is the braja nature. So that means they first give kripa. <laughs> <laughs> This is the Vaishnava etiquette. <laughs> They are very clever, intelligent. <laughs> And they will listen, not talk. You will see, go on. They will listen. We have so much patience to listen. It is very difficult to listen to someone. Hmm? Go on, see that. So, Babaji is saying, I submit that if Kripa can be attained by Sadhana, it is not Kripa. <laughs> not kirpa. <laughs> By sadhana, if you get something, it's not kirpa. <laughs> By your effort, you get it. Right? Wow. Shocking. <laughs> <laughs> Three days over. <laughs> Three days over. He will work. <laughs> Three days. Day and night he will work on this. <laughs> Somebody say, if you get something from sadhana, is not kripa. <laughs> You have to work three days. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. 
In one line, he gives three days of work. <laughs> <laughs> I submit that if Kripa can be attained by sadhana, it is not Kripa. If it is incumbent in the Lord to give us what we want according to our sadhana, How can we call him Kripamaya? I think it's very clear because it's more like a business then, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. So how could we call him then merciful? We can call him Kripamaya only if he shows mercy upon those who do, who do not have any sukha, I don't know, I don't, I don't know this word, or support from anywhere. Comfort, comfort, sukha. Sukha. Comfort. Comfort. Okay. So, no support, no comfort from anywhere. And who are too, uh, who are so weak that they cannot do any sadhana and bhajan? So, who could be that? The next line is telling, we Chivas of Kali <laughs> we Chivas of Kali are so much under the clutches of Maya that it is almost impossible for us to do any sadhana without Kripa. Shri mm Radhe. -hmm. <laughs> Jai Shri Radhe. Yeah. Again, again. <laughs> <laughs> we Jeevas of Kali are so much under the clutches of Maya that it is almost impossible for us to do any sadhana without Kripa. Radhe mm Gurudev, -hmm. it's like a bhakti who is completely independent <laughs> from natural. any other process. Natural, I said. Natural. 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 Yeah. It's not unnatural. So, Guru I'm thinking now, if I'm doing sadhana not to get Kripa, then do, I'm doing sadhana to develop more prema? Is this the goal of sadhana then? So why are we doing sadhana? This type of sadhana. <laughs> Different of sadhana. <laughs> sadhana means uh, in your uh, inner sadhana or outer sadhana. Both? Inner Both. sadhana is also kripa because <laughs> how you get the siddha there, <laughs> how you get the uh, Nista so much in Radhika that you don't deviate. How you get the Guru Mandiri? How you believe 
विदाउट निष्ठा ऑफ गुरु मंजरी साधक देहा गुरु यू कैन नॉट बिलीव इफ यू सी इन साधक देहा टू योर गुरु यू विल बी ऑलवेज डाउटफुल बट वेन यू सी फ्रॉम योर सिद्ध देहा टू योर गुरु यू विल नेवर डाउटफुल वाट ही विल से यू विल डू इट Shy, he will say to go in hell. You will do it mm-hmm. because you not do sadhana for yourself. You mm-hmm. follow the way of Guru Dev. Is no sadhana. Mm-hmm. You not decide to do something. You follow the way what he said to you. Navigator, say me if he say wrong. I will do that. Mm-hmm. Maybe this is the this is the I will go get the Siddhi. Guru, what showing is a Siddhi? He say go. You will travel whole world to me, <laughs> and I have to do. So what happened with this? I have a many, many. His expansion come to me. He himself expand in the Western devotee. That is my. What you say, friends? And I have to be there and to care them. This is my service. If I say is this not sadhana, I have to live in Bhadrav and I will not follow your words. Then I am a kaput. <laughs> I am not saput. I am not nothing right way going. <laughs> He knows better right way for me than others. Because he never say anything <coughs> what is harmful to his associate. Who he wants to bring right direction to the always to keep in the service of Radhika. He never want that he come again for this practice, mm. because he will be lucky to bring to the service for Radhika. Mm. Then he will be useful. <laughs> he is not useful for Radha Rani if he no bring others to serve him. Then he is. <coughs> you said he is helping. For the his associate is useless. You said one time we we have to make Param Guru Manjari famous. Then. Mm-hmm. Yes, <laughs> so big be group bigger. that they will be happy to see him. That how we are together and follow you for that. So we cannot follow here in the sadhak. How can we follow there then? They are all. <coughs> this is the my guru Manjari is bringing there. He will not bring another. <laughs> you don't know full other. Full faith in guru. There, full faith. Yes. This is the parampara. This is a parampara. <coughs> This is Kripa. <laughs> so we Chivas of Kali are so much under the clutches of Maya that it is almost impossible for us to do any sadhana without Kripa. Yeah. Our Our minds are unsteady. We are always running after material objects and sneaking the fleeting pleasure of life. It is difficult for us to withdraw our mind from them and think. 
of or meditate upon the Lord. I do not undermine sadhana. Sadhana is necessary, but it is neither possible nor fruitful without Kripa. It is neither possible nor fruitful without Kripa. You say sadhana first, then Kripa. I say first Kripa, then sadhana. <laughs> Kripa always precedes sadhana. Those who believe in kyan, karma, or yoga may, to some extent, succeed in attaining something by sadhana. But what yoga? Those who believe in Kyana, Karma, or Yoga. Hmm. They make succeed. <coughs> hmm. Those who believe in jnana, karma, or yoga may to some extent succeed in attaining something by sadhana. Mm. But the upasana of Brajabhav is not possible without Kripa. Yeah, oh. Again, it is underlined that Braj Bhav is not possible without Rata Kripa. Yeah. Because in this kind of upasana anugatya, which means guidance of or dependence on the guru and all those who are superior, is necessary. And Anugatya implies Kripa. Yeah. Sadhana is necessary both for the Sadaka and the Siddha. But in each state, Anugatya is necessary. So Sripad asks, Do you mean to say that the example of Sadhana and Bhajan, the six Goswamis and other associates of Mahaprabhu, have set before us is of no importance whatsoever?
Babaji is answering. The Goswamis renounced the world and lived under trees, sometimes under one tree, sometimes under another, sometimes getting food to eat, sometimes going without it, sometimes sleeping and sometimes keeping awake throughout the night and doing bhajan. It is difficult for us to follow them. Their bhajan is the object of our meditation. Their bhajan is the object of our meditation. I just get something in the heart that here it's clearly said we cannot imitate them. That's the wrong way. We cannot imitate them. We are not on that stage. And we will be never. But we meditate on them. They have, out of mercy for us, the Jivas of Kali, set up an ideal, an ideal of Sadhana Bhachan before us, so that if we cannot follow it, we may attain the goal of Bhakti Sadhana only by meditating upon it. We should, yeah. however, Rade. follow in the footsteps. Rade. I think that this is also very important to stop a little bit about this subject. Like you said, we cannot imitate, but we have to meditate. Mm -hmm. And to meditate, we need to be in the same mood. It's not superficial meditation from outside, but we have to connect our hearts with their hearts. Like now, for example, we are listening these beautiful explanations. And if we can connect our hearts and minds with Baba, with Gurudev, with all of you, Vaishnavas, then our meditation is the deeper and even long. Now we are talking one hour, one and a half hour, and we have opportunity that through the listening, through the reading, we are meditate on their perfect examples. <coughs> so it doesn't mean that we, we are not doing anything. It doesn't mean that we are just waiting and doing our own business independently. Mm -hmm. But we have to follow their mood. Mm -hmm. And as much as we can connect with the mood, with Baba, our meditation will be successful. And Kripa, 
will go from heart to heart. This is the way how I understand meditation on my level. And like Gurudev said, this is your homework. But this homework is not possible if we don't have a Guru Gati. Then this is a deep meditation. <clears throat> Ishta Gati. Namara Swarup. This is my understanding. Very beautiful. Radha, Radha, Ananda, help us. So I just to remember one bus and Gita. Yam Yam Vyapi Sumanam Babam Chajanti Anti Karebaram Dantan Evaiti Kauntia Sada Tad Baba. So that means, so we sumaranam, that Baba, that feeling, which is Guru, Guru Dev, Guru Manjari, or Rupa Manjari. And then we can attain that Baba, Babita. Means same mood. Same feeling we can, we can have it. So therefore, even though we may not, we may not do sadhana like Shat Goswami is, because we are so foreign. They are nitya sita. So difficult to follow it. But by their mercy, if we meditate it, if we try to understand their feeling, we try to understand Guru Dev, Guru Manjari's feeling, then we can attain same Baba. This is Raganuga, actually. And in Rupa Goswami said, Krishna, this is Bhaktira Samhita Shinti. Krishna Tat Bhakta Karunya Matra Labaika Hetuka means Laganuga Bhakti can attain, only could attain by the mercy of Krishna and Krishna Bhakta. For us, Lada and Lada Dasi. And also, it is a Sanat Kumara Sanhita, very beautiful verse. Bina Lada Prasadena Mama Kripa Na Dabyate. Without mercy of Lada Rani, no one can attain the mercy of Krishna. We may say, without, without the mercy of Radha Dasi, Rashika Vaishnava, we cannot attain the mercy of Radha Rani. In other words, if we can get mercy of Rashika Vaishnava, Radha Dasi, or Guru Manjari, we can easy to get everything. That is Mahaprabhu say, Sadhu Sangha, Sadhu Sangha, Sarva Shastra Hoi, Lava Matre Sadhu Sangha, Sarva Siddhi Hoi. That city is Manjari Swarupa. Even Manjari Swarupa, we can get, if we can get mercy of Guru Manjari. That is, that is, I, I, I felt after hearing, you know, Gorabani 
、バーバー、援護ご覧が積んだら、バーバーズ、えー、エクスプラネーション、ウラデラで。ラデラで、ガランギャ、When I hear you speak, I, it's not that the words come out of the speaker and go into my ears, it feels like they come out of my heart and go into my mind. <clears throat> But I think what you explained helps us to understand as well this relationship between sadhana and Kripa that we talked about a moment ago, which comes first, sadhana and Kripa or Kripa and sadhana. If we're doing sadhana externally, like you just said, going through the actions, doing what is prescribed, following the rituals, doing the little actions, speaking the words without pulse, without feeling, then we think we get the Kripa. But if we start with Kripa, the mercy of Gurudev, Then all these actions are filled with love, with, are filled with love already when we're doing them. So we speak the words with our mind on Gurudev, or with our eyes and our hearts on Gurudev, and they become full of love and full of, full of meaning too. So that's how Kripa comes first there internal sadhana and not external. I have this feeling that I, I want to just give it a little bit as an overview. Very simple. I like simple,、uh, um, simple pictures in my mind because I can remember them easily. If somebody is very rich, he's a millionaire. In our case, Gurudev is the millionaire of Bhakti. <clears throat> of Kripa. So you want to have some of this Kripa. You may have two ways. One way is on the outside, even though you have no experience, you try to do the same like him. That's sadhana. So When he sees that you imitate, he gets mercy upon you, and then he's trying to get some connection deeper. That means relationship starts. When relationship starts, we open the heart. When the heart is open, then Gurudev can take his millions and put it in your heart from his heart because you need this connection. It's like a transfer from bank to bank. The bank of the heart of Gurudev is transferring on your bank account. This is only through the connection. If there is no connection, not, not possible. So, when this transfer is made, then you can develop more and more. Kripa. And because you will get, like on the bank account, you get some zinsen. I don't know what is the, Eng the English word. You, you get some more money. Interest. It's called interest. interest. Yes, interest. Like that.、A、very simple example. Sorry for that, but just came in my mind. This is like a. You know, Tate no Kampan, Samak Samano, some obedient, obedient son and daughters. It's just to, they have connection with father and, and just to follow sincerely under the guidance of father. And then time to time, son, son and daughters get. Everything you know, get from father. So, but、uh, we need connection. We need to be obedient. We, we should be obedient to the father. 
Otherwise, father said, no, 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 I don't want to give you. Like, I, I feel like this, you know. So we should, however, follow in their footsteps of the six Goswamis as much as we can. As much as we can. Depending all the time and with all our heart and soul upon their gripper. Without which all of efforts will be futile. Tripat, after this explanation, went back satisfied. <laughs> Finally, he became convinced and satisfied, peaceful in his heart. Yeah. Yes, very, very peaceful. This is Kripa. <laughs> this is Kripa Vaishnava. I just want to say something about this and that the way how we are waiting for Kripa. We also have to have proper consciousness in these expectations. It's because Kripa is coming by its own will. This is her nature. And we cannot blackmail or demand. We can cry deeply from the heart, but always be aware that whenever Kripa wants, in which way it's want, she wants, she will appear. Because Raghunatha Das Goswami is saying Tavai Vasmi, Tavai Vasmi, these famous words. He is saying this from Sadakulesh. And he is saying, please, Radhe, I am yours, I am yours, and you know that very well. I don't have anyone else but you. So knowing that, please, take me to your lotus feet. This is my desire. This is my hankering. I am crying for this. What is the use of my life if you don't be merciful to me? If you don't give me your Kripa? But he is also thinking, okay, Rade, if you don't want to give me, because you have your own reasons. Just forget about this. Don't bother. Don't feel obliged that you have to give. So this is the example of pure chitta pure heart. <coughs> of someone who really has genius uh, greed. who has really bona fide grief and is teaching us to be enthusiastic in one way and on another way to be very patient with full confidence. 
And this is the state of mind which Rupa Goswami is listing also that we have to be utsaha, darya, very patient, nishchaya, confidence. And this is the way how we can beg, steal, or borrow the Kripa depending completely on the will of Kripa. I'm sorry. Yeah. God. So here ends this uh, chapter, but there is another sentence here a little bit uh, later. When Sri Radha Raman Charandas Deva is telling his one of his disciples, uh, he is performing sadhana bhajan, and they are talking that he actually should do this. How it's described by the acharyas, and then this. Uh, this disciple is making a long face, like, how could I do this? <laughs> hmm. And then Sri Radha Raman Charandas Deva is telling to his disciple, but don't worry, bhajan or no bhajan? By Nitai's grace, you will attain everything. Mm -hmm. I have said, he is telling it twice, I have said, you will attain. Jai. What he is doing in this moment, taking the Kripa, giving it in the heart because the yeah. disciple is opening the heart he's telling gurudev how should i do it's not possible gurudev is taking and putting it in the open heart directly and this is actually what i also felt when i was opening to gurudev and said phew not possible. I will never come out of this difficulty. He's just taking the gripper, putting it in the heart, and then <laughs> difficulty gone very soon. Gorabaniji, I remember sometime Gurudevas told us. I can chant for you. If you don't chant, I can chant for you. Don't worry. This is rather rather going that as much Maharaj's mood. You don't need to worry. I can chant for you. This is good. This is good. good. <laughs> so I just want to mention that actually this whole book is not available in German, but we translated it in files. So if somebody is interested to get it in German, because it's just existing in English now, or maybe in other languages, but not in German now. So there are files. Uh, I spoke it in German on these files. And if you are interested, I will put it on Radadasyam later, the link, and then you can have success to this link. <laughs> Mm. 
Very nice. Thank you. Very nice. Yeah. So beautiful. I will request all of you, like this, select some nice subjects and share it. Like very nice subject going on in Japanese class, uh, Eden Path of Devotion. So this way, easy more to understand margins words. I will say, Updesa uh, Amrit of Prabhupada also, he writes very nicely. He say about the, how to do practice. I see in one very small book about Updesa uh, Amrit, what is the name of the book? What is Next the name of the book? Huh? Next Wow, very nice. Like this. Yeah. There's no question also. Mm. What is the meaning of Raga? Kavi is asking. Who is us? Oh, open, bring people. <coughs> What's the meaning of Raga? I didn't bring the outside huh, to her. Show his face. Oh. He has to loud the ask. Is he the different point? Tadarabeng huh? Buddha. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes, I wanted to ask about the meaning of Raga. No. Huh? Yeah. Raga. Raga means love. First love. Raga. Like a gopis and sakis they are doing raga by listening the fruit of Krishna. They run from the home. Sakis also coming out from the house to listen where his flute song is coming. This desire to to not other thing interested now. The house, home, home affairs are not go, uh, giving good feeling, and he wants to go for listening to Krishna flute. That meaning of Raga means heart attracts for something naturally. That is Raga. Anything who catch my heart, that is Raga. Not another. You from Poland? I see. 